without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our very brave and very sweet uh, person who has come and will do the consult with uh, Amber. So have fun. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're gonna get started with everything. So. Um, if you watched our noon Zoom yesterday, um, some of this may be a little repetitive to you, but I'm just going to kind of go through the consult like I normally would so you're aware as to how a consult is laid out. All right, Brandy, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so what are kind of trouble areas? What are you wanting to work on? What's the situation here? So I've had two children. Okay. Um, my oldest is seven and my youngest is 15 months, so I'm really kind of you know, just trying to lose this, my abdomen, you okay. know, I have some skin laxity from just carrying them low. Okay. So really just trying to get away that stubborn fat that I can't gotcha. seem to lose. Um, any C-section, anything like that, scar no. in the area from the childbirth. No. Okay. Um, do you feel like you got any skin laxity or anything like lower down from the childbirth? I do. Okay. All right. Um, so any medical issues that I need to know about? Yeah. Any history of a hernia, hernia repairs, any issues with cold, anything like that? No. Okay, all right. So let's derobe and kind of let me see what's going on and then okay. we're gonna take a look and we'll kind of template it out and kind of give you an idea as to what your cool sculpting treatment would look like. Okay. Okay, okay. perfect. So Amber, what you're holding, um, that blue thing in your vein. What are those? Could you explain what these are? So these are our templates. Um, this is an indicator of the size of the applicator. And then what we're going to do is um, we'll put it up to the treatment area and just see what fits best. We have all different sizes for different areas. There's different curves for different shapes of the body. Um, so it really just depends on the area that you're treating as to what applicator you would use. So that's really where the art of it, I think, comes into too, right? Because you have to kind of evaluate her and choose the correct applicator for, for sure. where it's going to go. Correct? For sure. Yeah. Also with cool sculpting, kind of a big thing is you have to pay attention to the person's body curves to begin with. Um, and you want to make sure that you're following their natural curves. You're not trying to create a new curve for them that's going to be very unnatural. Um, there's also going to be a completely different situation with treating women versus men. Women, we like that, you know, hourglass shape, whereas men, they want that V shape where they've got the wider shoulders, slender waist. So you've got to make sure that you're paying attention to their natural curves and everything when you're starting. All right, so let's look. <laughs> I'm going to kind of feel around, I'm going to pinch you, make sure, one, that it's the right fat that we're going to be working with, and then I'm also going to kind of take a look at the skin laxity first to make sure that cool sculpting is going to be a good option for you. Okay. Um, when we're running into skin laxity issues, you want to make sure that you're not going to cause too much skin laxity for them. Fat is a tissue expander, so anytime you remove fat, something's going to happen to the skin. So you're not going to like me if I leave you with really lax skin hanging, but I've gotten rid of the fat. So you really have to make sure that you're paying attention to all of that globally when you're going into a consult. And that's fairly unusual, I think, isn't it, Amber, to have that kind of a, of a lax uh, response with that um, yes. after childbirth and things like that. I yes. Mean, she, she she has slight, but it's She's not. got slight laxity. Um, some people, you know, everybody is a little different as to how much weight they gain with child, with their childbirth and everything like that. So it's just, you have to really pay attention to it when you're going into the consult. Okay, so for you, so you don't like this area down here? Yes. Okay, kind of the whole abdomen area, okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're paying attention to her natural kind of where everything stops here. You don't need to extend things out because then you can create almost like little divots that you wouldn't necessarily want. So with her, we're going to come in and we're going to hit this lower portion first. I always like to kind of start low and work our way up so that we make sure that we're covering all of the area and we're not leaving anything behind. All right. So you can see, she kind of goes almost from hip to hip here. So we're gonna come in with this larger applicator and I'm gonna place it just here, almost all the way to her hip. You wanna turn her maybe yep. just a little bit so people can see what you're doing. Yeah. Almost all the way to her hip and you can see, I'm gonna place the other one right on this other side. So they're gonna overlap each other. So we're gonna get a really great treatment in this area here where it's the bulkiest for her.
And so what you're drawing, Amber, is actually where the applicator will, uh, yep. the cool sculpting applicator actually will be placed um, when she actually gets a treatment. And the purpose of the template is just to kind of make sure she fits in to the applicator, correct? Yep, and also to kind of help me as I'm going to, because if we've got multiple different areas, I can see exactly where this one needs to go. Okay. All right, so we can see we've got the whole lower portion covered here. And then we're just gonna work our way up. So with Brandy here, we don't need to go on this upper abdomen much further out than here. What we can do is as we cover the whole area, we're gonna pull it around and we're gonna kind of put the flanks into the midsection for her because that's gonna create that hourglass shape for her. So I'm actually gonna kind of come in here and double up with these larger ones here. So I think you all can see too, like the, the placement of these applicators is really important. And I think um, really knowing how to evaluate the fat and the peaks and the bulges and where to place them is super important. It kind of, um, I think Amber has a definitely eye for it. Everyone who is here has been really trained, especially on midsections. Midsection makeovers are kind of our our thing, our specialty, and the thing that I think we're most passionate about. And so um, you can see the kind of the detail. She's really trying to, I think, find where that applicator is going to kind of get the most draw uh, into the machine so that the most fat will actually be um, treated. That's correct, yeah. And you want to make sure, like I said, you're kind of covering all the areas. So you don't want to take an applicator when you're coming up onto this upper portion of the abdomen and put it too much further up because then you've kind of left this whole area here, which will then be very noticeable if you've reduced everything here and you've got this one little section in the center that hasn't been treated. And everyone who comes in for if, if, that, if people are watching and they're like, oh, my midsection's my, my area too. It's not necessarily the same thing for everyone, correct? No, it changes person to person. Everyone's fat, if you will, is different how it's placed on their abdomen. Um, everything is gonna be different. So this would be Brandy's pattern and we could have someone come in right behind her and it's gonna be a completely different pattern for them. It's all based on that person's body type. Mm -hmm. So for her abdomen right now, I would kind of stop here and then I would actually, I'm going to have her turn around and I'm going to pull this around to her flank area. So you can see with her upper abdomen up here, um, we could probably get her into the cool sculpting machine to kind of treat this area here. But this is very flat compared to all of this down here. So kind of the goal that I would be going with is reducing all of this to where everything is more even for her and flat. Okay, so I'm going to have you turn around. Okay. So we can come all the way around like this. So the flank area back here is this kind of love handle area that no one likes. It always hangs over the top of our jeans. <laughs> um, so she has a great treatment area here for the flank, but this is gonna make a massive difference with her with the way the abdomen and everything is looking as well. So you wanna kind of look at her natural folds of her body where her natural waistline is here. So you can kind of see if she bends over like a teapot like this, this is gonna be her natural waistline. So you wanna make sure that you're creating everything with a flank and sculpting from there down for the flank area. Okay, you can stand up normal again. So I'm gonna kind of come in here with our applicator again. So this one I'm gonna use a little different size. So this one is a little smaller. You can see the one that we were using on the lower abdomen. If you try to use this on a flank, it doesn't fit. It rocks back and forth. It's not gonna give you a good grab of treatment here. When the machine goes on, Amber, there's, there is a suction, right? That yes. That happens too? So. Yes, so you'll feel um, a suction. Um, it's not very strong of a suction. Um, but you will feel a little bit of a suction to the area. Is it going to be cold? Yes. Um, so the first um, kind of five to ten minutes is going to be the coldest. 
Um, and then after that, everything just goes numb and you kind of sail through the rest of the treatment. So these cycles here that we're doing take 35 minutes. The ones that were on the front that there were larger ones, those take 45 minutes. And you can, um, at times, dual sculpt um, since we have a couple of machines, so, which saves time too. Correct? Yes, 100%. You can um, do multiple areas at one time, which will knock off a lot of the treatment time for you, so you're not here quite as long. And do I need more than one treatment? Um, yes, so for you, I would plan on doing two rounds of treatment. So we'll treat all of our areas first, and then typically I'll see you back in about four to six weeks or so, and we'll redo everything again. Usually at that point, you're starting to see some results, so we'll kind of take a look at the area again, make sure there's nothing that needs to be adjusted with our plan from previous. Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say that it's um, painful. Um, okay. The cold is um, kind of like a burning pain, but it goes away really quickly. Okay. Um, and then after that, it's really nothing. You immediately can leave here, you can go work out, mm -hmm. you can go about your business. You have no downtime, no restrictions. So you can see kind of here on the back, she's got kind of like a upper flank and then there's almost kind of like a lower flank here. So we're gonna double up our applicators to cover that whole entire area. All right, so that'll kind of be what our flank area would look like. So can, can you turn her a little bit to, to the back so that I can see you kind of, yeah, can you see that out? Mm -hmm. So we would kind of double up on our flanks here to make sure that we're covering this mm -hmm. whole area. And then what was her front look And like? then turn around for me all the way. Front area we kind of hit lower here. So these are those larger ones that I was talking about that take the 45 minutes. And then we'll go up on the upper. I would probably, once I get her kind of seated and see how everything is positioning itself, we may decide that we want to treat this area here, but I would see, wait and kind of see what my grab situation is from the suction of the machine to make sure that it's not pulling a little bit of this area in. You can see she kind of has like a natural line here, a fold in, so you don't want to create more of a fold there to where it divots in more. Can you turn sideways, Granny, do you mind? Just, um, can you that good like a profile mm -hmm. and so can you explain Amber then like so what you're hoping to do profile wise on her yeah so profile wise you can see kind of this upper area here put your arms kind of like this for us so we can mm -hmm. see everything this upper area here is very flat on her mm -hmm. and then she has the bulge here so mm -hmm. what we're wanting to do is reduce this mm -hmm. to where everything looks more in line with each other mm -hmm. and more of a flatter abdomen mm -hmm. and then if you can turn straight brandy too and then so what's and then on the sides is she going to come in a little like how's that going to look yeah so with the flank what happens is and i'll kind of come behind too so you can see this when you treat the flank it's going to kind of pull in so it's going to give you more of that like hourglassy type shape gotcha. so it'll pull the flank in area to where she has more of that curve um versus being more boxy so how many, let's see, what is that? One, two, one, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cycles. Ten cycles. Yeah. And is that pretty typical for, for um, those people, or what's the range that I you find? I would say mostly? midsection is usually anywhere from four to eight cycles, kind mm -hmm. of depending on what we're looking like to begin with. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, kind of a standard pattern, if you will, for the abdomen is they have um, almost like a diamond shape. So they'll have kind of two here and two here. But I want to extend hers out to all the way to that flank area so that we're creating some definition for her as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I know we talked about your um, flanks back here, but I would like if you would turn around, I want to kind of show them some uh, different areas okay. in the back as well. Okay. So we've got the flank area here. This is also called the bra fat area, which no one loves. It sticks out from underneath our bra. So this is definitely a treatable area for her. You can continue all the way up the back too. So if it's someone who has a little more up here, you can treat this area as well. Um, there's also something called the axillary puff. So if you turn back around for me, perfect. 
and that's usually right here in this area that will poke out from the bras. She's not the greatest candidate for the axillary puff. There's a little bit there, but you can take these little applicators. They're so cute, they're my favorite. <laughs> little tiny ones like this, and they literally just fit right here so that they can treat that area that sticks out from the bra. And Amber, that applicator also is what we use for chins, right? It is, yes. And can you show them like kind of yeah. how that works? So the chin area here, um, typically it's going to be this bulky kind of area right here. It can also extend out onto that jowl area if you have some jowls. This is one of the most popular with men. Um, but you literally can just come in and if it's just very central, you can treat right here in just the center. If they have a larger pocket here, you can pull it out to the sides and you can create a very defined jawline for them. So you can come here and then overlap and do right on the other side and it's just going to sculpt all of this out for them. Yeah, and I think um, you do have to be the right candidate for yes. sure with chins. I think there's um, uh, that definitely, I mean everything with cool sculpting is a console, but particularly I think with for the sure. chin. Yeah, you've got to have, you know, a significant little amount there. If it's just a little tiny bit, sometimes you're not the greatest candidate because we don't want to run a risk of getting any laxity or anything in the neck area. Or if it's too lax. Sometimes yeah. I think that's the other thing too because it doesn't tighten skin. That's one of the things that's 100%. important. 100%. It can reduce the fat. Yeah, especially if there's, you know, kind of laxity that's coming down this way. Yeah. Um, most of the time, I will say, you're not a great candidate because this is just going to get even laxer. Right. And that's not a look that most people want. Um, and then what about arms? You know, if anyone saw our talk um, yesterday, we went over some arms and had a really nice before and after. Could you show kind of what yeah. you do with that? So arms, we always use this flat applicator, of course, because we're not going to use a curved. Um, so with the arms, the area that we can treat is this nice little area that everyone hates that waves at you. Um, and you literally can just come in and treat all the way out to the elbow. So you can see it just fits right underneath that arm. Um, arms always take two rounds of treatment for everyone, um, but it gets a great result. Um, you can also use this flat applicator. So we have other areas, of course, we're not gonna show them, Brandy. You can treat your outer thigh. You can also treat the inner thigh. So the flat ones are always used on the inner thigh. And then we have a paddle that's like a flat paddle that you can use to treat pockets of fat that's on the outer thigh as well. What do you think? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> what questions do you have? Does everything make sense? Any questions? No, I think you answered just about everything. I just, you know, time-wise, how long would it take? So, um, appointment first-wise, you would see, um, it would probably, I would say you'll be here for about three and a half hours for us to get everything completed. And then we'll see you back in about six weeks or so, four to six weeks, somewhere around there. And then we'll do our other treatment as well. I suspect that you'll probably be around that same time again. So three, three and a half hours or so. And then you'll start seeing your results at about four weeks. You'll see full final results at 12 weeks after we're finished with that second round of treatment. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Brandy. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was great. Thank you, Amber, too. Um, I hope that was helpful for those of you that were contemplating about your body sculpting consult. This is kind of what we do, so you can make your appointments. The great news is our body sculpting consults at our Advanced Body Sculpting Center are always complimentary, which is wonderful. Yeah. So you can just call and make your appointment. Um, I know you all are wondering, what's the prize? Well, we have a great <laughs> prize because this prize requires no entry. Everybody's going to get to win. Um, and what we're doing is for anybody who schedules a their body sculpting consult, you have to, from the video, whenever this video is released, or till uh, 